right? Yeah. Hello, Colonel. Hello, Ward. How's Sally? Fully recovered. She went into the bank to arrange for this week's payroll. That's fine. For once, everything seems to be going good. Both rigs are drilling, and our chances look good to hit oil before our lease option expires. Yeah. Sally. You're back early. What's the matter, honey? Our bank account's been attached. What? Who did that? Plummer and two of the crew who were working on the Thompson rig. They claim they were injured at the fight at the well and filed suit for damages. Why, that's crazy. If he dares to show his face in court, I we can... know. It's just a nuisance suit, but the case won't come up to trial for three weeks. And in the meantime, all our money is tied up. How can we meet our payroll? Well, we'll just have to raise the money somewhere else and keep it in cash. I think under the circumstances, my old friend Howard Nelson and Oro Negro will help us out. We used to be partners in the oil fields down there. I've done him a lot of favors. I'll give you a letter to him. I can catch the evening train from Benton and be in Oro Negro tomorrow morning. If I can see Mr. Nelson right away, I ought to be able to get back the next day. Wire is how you make out. I'll be in town waiting to hear from you. All right. Oh, Ward. I'd like to talk to you a moment. What do you want, Dawson? I understand your association is having a little financial difficulty. And I suppose you're very sorry about it. Well, frankly, no. But I just want to remind you that I'm still willing to buy up your lease at a fair price before you lose it. Well, we don't need your help. We've made other arrangements. Well, uh... Hello, Rusty. Did you hear anything? No, but I'm going back to the telegraph office and wait there until I do. I'll uh, pick you up here. Okay. that much winter. I'm sorry, fellas, but I gotta get back to work. Sit down! You can't walk out on us like that. I'll walk out any time I want it. Wait a minute. We've got work to do. That's a 
lot of money. I hope we don't have any trouble getting there with it. Well, we shouldn't. Nobody knows we're bringing it. We'll travel cross country, so we aren't likely to run into anyone. walking. What's the big idea? Becker, take over. You drive on up to the mouth of the canyon, wait for me there. Right. We'll be coming down the road in a couple of minutes. Becker, you know what to do. Get these horses out of sight. It looks like that stagecoach is in trouble. Come on. What's the matter? Watch the road agents try to stop me up the canyon, but I got by them. They angle off, though, and it looks like they're going to make another try for me out in the flats. I need help. We can ride with you. Sally, you better stay out of this. Take the horses to the ranch, and we'll ride the coach into town. Let's ride inside, Rusty. Great. Well, for our little plan, didn't you? Take those bags. Get over there by those trees. Come on. Move. to the coach. Good here, come on. <laughs> 